The Church of the Immaculate Conception stands on elevated ground in the village of Drumsna. The stained glass windows within are rich in Christian symbols and imagery and are most precious jewels in our parish. They are a very important strand of our culture and heritage and we are very proud of them. These windows combine multiple stained glass techniques and highlight an incredible amount of detail and depth. They have a blend of vivid colours, sophisticated shading, with minute details and intricate patterns, particularly in their borders and lower panels. I invite you now to come with me on a tour of our windows, as each has its own story to tell. Come walk with me now into the church and look to your left. You will see the first Gothic style window, the presentation. When Mary and Joseph took the Christ child to the temple to present him and fulfill the requirements for purification, they met Simeon. Simeon was told by the Holy Spirit that he would meet the Messiah in his lifetime. This window is a superb depiction of this fulfillment of the promise that Simeon received from God. This window is a memorial from Annie McCran to her grandmother Catherine Ford, who died on the 7th of March 1878. This window offers a devotional and faith deepening scene brought to life of the Holy Family going to Egypt. Mary holds the baby while sitting on the donkey's back and Joseph leads them to safety. The colours and detail of the flora and fauna in this window are magnificent. This window is a memorial from Sarah Scollin to her husband Patrick Scollin, who died just aged 38 years. In this window, the Nativity, Jesus sits in a humble manger in swaddling clothes. The Virgin Mary looks down upon her son in adoration while the world rejoices at the birth of their newborn king. This window is a memorial to Patrick and Mary Carton from their son Richard Carton. Next we move to the Annunciation of the Lord where Gabriel is announcing to Mary that she will carry the Messiah in this beautiful stained glass panel. Hail Mary, full of grace. Standing in front of the altar and looking up, pride of place goes to this beautiful window depicting the assumption of Mary into heaven. Mary is surrounded by four angels on either side and four delicate cherubs at her feet. Her halo is brilliantly illuminated by the Holy Spirit descending upon her to take her up to heaven. The inscription at the bottom asks us to pray for the donors and their deceased friends. Come with me now when we move across to the other side. Behold this heart that so loved men. The Sacred Heart appearing to St. Margaret Mary Alacoque, a visitation nun in France in the 17th century. In a series of mythical visions, Christ revealed to her his passionate love for all humanity, symbolised by his Sacred Heart, and his sorrow at the world's indifference to divine love and salvation. The next window depicts the miraculous catch of fish and the calling of Peter, acting in faith. As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the water, for they were fishermen. Come follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. This window is a memorial from Mrs. Caslin, Drumsna, in memory of Peter, who died on the 26th of December, 1903, and her daughter Annie, who died in March, 1907. The baptism of Jesus depicted in the next window, 
John the Baptist preached baptism for the forgiveness of sins and the preparing the way of the Lord. Jesus came to the River Jordan for baptism. This event was one of five major milestones in the life of Jesus Christ. This beautiful stained glass window portrays the perfect moment in biblical history. The rich colours are particularly stunning when the evening light shines through, highlighting the heavens opening and the dove-like descent of the Holy Spirit. This window is a memorial from John and Margaret Garvey remembering Mary, Margaret, Martin, Bernard and Patrick. The last window on this wall is from the strong influence of St. Patrick, even in modern culture. As the patron saint of Ireland, he is celebrated the world over. He is cloaked in brilliant vivid colour while raising up the shamrock in his right hand. St. Patrick is Ireland's most prominent patron saint and an integral figure in our Irish culture and heritage. It is very fitting that St. Patrick is represented here, as it was said that he crossed the Shannon into Connacht at Drumsna. This window is a memorial from Bridget and Kate McKeown, Dristernan, to their brother Patrick, who died in February 1906. As we look up, we see the beautiful window with lovely detail of the patron saint of music, St. Cecilia. She is one of seven women, in addition to the Blessed Virgin, commemorated by name in the canon of the Mass of the Roman Catholic Church. The window on the other side represents the popes and religious of the Catholic Church down through time. Ireland, the island of saints and scholars who produced many missionaries to spread God's word all over the world. Stained glass is often referred to as the poor man's Bible. In times past, people who could not read could stand in front of them to absorb different aspects of the Christian story. We are not sure which stained glass artist is responsible for creating our lovely windows, glowing with colour and filled with stories from the Bible. Having stood in the church and marvelled at the brilliant, colourful windows, you will agree they are a fine example of our culture and heritage on our doorstep. Thank you.